Hey everyone, Carcass Shy here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm back today, I want to rank every single perk in Call of Duty Zombies. Now there might be some stuff missing, if there is, I'll go to another tier list, but right now, these are the tree art perks that are left here. There is no BO4, but there is another BO4 tier list, which will be in this video, and I will cut straight to that tier list right after this, but right now, let's get right into this. So starting off, we have uh, Speed Cola. Now Speed Cola... Great perk, great perk. So I'm gonna put it there at Greg. O honestly, my favorite perk of all time. Reason why I don't know, but it just is. Uh, quick revive, quick revive is really good in a sense, but um, most of the time you could be playing co-op for all you know. Most players in zombies, from what I've seen, mainly like to play co-op and co-op. You always like to revive your players quick and stuff, but um, I I'll put it at the great. I'll put it at the great. You know, for the clutches and shit. You know, um. Next we've got Tombstone, that's an obvious. Uh, next we've got Mule Kick. Uh, Mule Kick, we're, no, actually we'll put Tombstone at the OK. You know what, we'll put the Tombstone at the OK. Same with Mule Kick. Mule Kick isn't necessarily bad. I don't really hate Mule Kick. I just, I always make sure to just pick up the shittiest weapon or not necessarily the shittiest weapon is my third weapon. Just make sure um, that my third weapon is something I wouldn't use and wouldn't care losing. So, yeah. Uh, next we jug next we got uh, Juggernaug. I think that's pretty obvious. We're putting out the god tier. Uh, as much as I'm like used to not having Jug as much anymore because of Black Ops 4 and stuff. Um, I really get used to it, but it's still at the god tier spot because Jug is always like a crutch perk and stuff. So yeah. Uh, next we have Vulture Aid. I'm actually going to put Vulture Aid ahead over Quick Revive. Uh, Vulture Aid, there will be green gas, you can sit in that green gas, it's like a mini in plain sight where you can just stay in there, zombies will go away for a while until the green gas goes away, it can give you some ammo clip, it can give you some points, it can make you see through walls, not in a sense where it's like death perception, death perception makes you see zombies through walls, but uh, Vulture Aid does something different where you can see like uh, perks through walls and stuff to know where they are and stuff, so that's really really cool. Uh, Widow's Wine is Basically Juggernaug in a sense, so I'm going to put that at the god tier as well. So, uh, Widow's Wine is definitely amazing, honestly. It's just that one thing where if zombies hit you, they'll just get wrapped in the spiderweb. And it's really, really helpful you to get you out of situations. So, yeah. Uh, next of all, we've got Double Tap uh, 2.0. Actually, no. We'll start off with Double Tap 1.0. And um, I'm not going to put it at bad. I'll put it at the top of OK. Now, Double Tap 1.0 basically shoots double the bullets, so the problem with Double Tap 1.0 back then, personally I didn't mind Double Tap 1.0 in a sense, but like it, compared to 2.0, 2.0 is definitely better. But Double Tap 1.0, like the ammo when you have Double Tap 1.0 goes away super fast, it shoots double the bullets. So honestly, it, it's really not necessarily needed, but like if you were playing like BO1 Keener the Totem, you'd most likely go for that unless you want Mule Kick, but that's honestly it. Uh, going on to Double Tap 2.0, I'm going to put that at the top of Great. Uh, I really, really like Double Tap 2.0, it is really absolutely god tier. So honestly, give give big ups to Double Tap 2.0, I really don't need to explain myself. Uh, next we've got Deadshot Dalkory. Um I don't want to put it up bad, but I, I think I have to, man. I think I have to put it up bad. I don't hate any of these perks before we move on, but um, just Deadshot Dalkory, it's just something that you wouldn't necessarily need to pick up. The only time I can see you getting Deadshot Dalkory is if you got a random perk power-up from BO3, BO4, or BO2. So, there is that, but apart from that, I don't think Digital Darker is like the worst perk in zombies, but you know what? It's definitely not the best. Next we got Electric Cherry, we're gonna put it at good. Now, it just stuns zombies, like if zombies are around you and stuff and you reload, it just stuns them, which can give you a bit of free space and stuff, but apart from that, that's it. Uh, Stamina up, I am not gonna put ahead of Double Tap, but I'm gonna put it in between Double Tap and Speed Cola. Definitely a really good perk. Actually, I'm going to put Vulture Aid. I'm going to put Quick 5 over Vulture Aid. But, um, and Stamina Up is, like, that perk, like, I always, like, use now. Specifically because of BO4. Like, I really just have the urge to get Stamina Up over Double Tap sometimes. Like, most of the time I do get Double Tap over Stamina Up. But, Stamina Up is just that perk where it's, like, I, you, you need, man. You need, like, you need running space and stuff, you know? Like, you always need to run 
uh, fast to go uh, situation. So get stamina up. Next we have who is who. I don't think who's who is that bad, but I will put it ahead over Tombstone. I, I just don't. It's not the best perk, right? I understand that who's who is definitely not the best perk, but it's something. It's something. It's something that we can um, deal with. Uh, next we have PhD, uh, I'm going to put PhD Flopper over at good, ahead over Electric Chair, because PhD, the only time I necessarily get is for no explosive damage and like no splash damage, but most of the time like people don't get the ray gun now and like the only time I see people getting RPGs is if they're on BO4, which is the Helion Salvo, so yeah. But as of right now, this is my list for the true art perks, not including BO4, but we'll get right into that after this. Juggerdog and uh, Widow's Wine at God tier. For great, we have Double Tap 2.0, Stamina Up, Speed Cooler, Quick Revive, and Walk Raid. For good, we have PhD Flopper, Electric Cherry. And then for okay, we have Double Tap 1.0, Mule Kick, Who's Who, and Tombstone Soda. And then we have Deadshot. Again, guys, just want to let you know this is my personal opinion. Um, if you guys if you guys don't agree with this list, that is totally fine. You guys all have your opinions, and I respect you for your opinions. Uh, again, I do not hate any of these perks. They're good in their own way, so I just want to heads up there. But now let's move on to the Black Ops 4 perks. Okay, so this guy's made superb, really good, good, okay, meh, why, disgusting, horrific. And then, there was a word that I didn't want to say in there, so I just put it at nah. But um, we have got the other perks here. We have Slappy Taffy from, um, what's it called, Exos in World War 2, so we will include that as well. But uh, the perks that we've already mentioned, I'm not going to mention in um, this bit, but, uh, let, but we're mainly focusing on BO4 here. So, starting off with BO4, uh, we've got Dying Wish. Dying Wish, uh, definitely my favourite perk of all time. Uh, I'm going to put it at Superb. The only downfall of Dying Wish is probably just like the regen time, but again, you do have time slip, which can help you in a sense, so there's that. Um... Next we have Victoria's Tortoise, I'm going to put that really good. Victoria's Tortoise is like something that you would need in a sense for any BO4 map, like Voyage I wouldn't use it that much. Dead, like for the rest of the maps I would, but uh, maps like Voyage and Dead and Night I probably wouldn't use it on. But Blood in a sense definitely is because you are using the shield most of the time and you need that shield out loads. So Victoria's Tortoise is the perk for that map and just majority of all the other maps. Uh, next we got a uh, Deadshot Dealer. Now, the reason I'm not going to put out like the far bomb, but the reason I'm going to put out May, and the reason why I'm putting out May is because like, cause Black Ops Four added in like um, what's it called, and um, they added in like Dark Mar to zombies specifically for separate from multiplayer. Um, Deadshot was really good in a sense, and like the modifier is actually not that bad. So honestly, Deadshot Dakari, I. Definitely give it better than bloody Deadshot, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but, um, as yes, we got, uh, Bandolier Bandit. Now, I'm gonna put Bandolier at, mmm, I don't know. I'll put it really good, but I won't put it ahead of Victoria's Tortoise. Bandolier Bandit is really, really good for, like, just getting extra ammo and stuff, but it's just something I wouldn't use all the time, because, like, you have stuff like catch back, frame drops and stuff, and like most of the time, you don't want that advantage. Maybe you want to be challenging and not rock Bandolier, you know? But most of the time, if I was going fire runs on BO4, I'd be rocking Bandolier. But, um, next we have Winter's Whale. Now, Winter's Whale, I'm going to be honest, boys, I think it's one of the most underrated perks ever. And I'm going to put it at the top of really good. Now, the reason why is because Winter's Whale, originally, when BO4 released, it was like a big, big, big degrade of, um, what's it called? Widow's Wine. Uh, but then it got a massive buff, and uh, it was honestly amazing. When one Winter's Whale goes away, you just need to wait one minute until it gives you all back and stuff. And that was really, really good and stuff. Treyarch done an amazing job with the Winter's Whale buff. And the thing is, though, is that, like, I get the feeling where sometimes I do want to say Winter's Whale is better than Windows Wine. And I don't know what to decide, because the Winter's Whale modifier is definitely amazing. When you get hit by a Winter's Whale, when you get hit by a zombie and your Winter's Whale gets uh, activated, and this only happens if it's on your modifier, you'll have an ice effect coming off your body, and uh, the zombies are close around you, 
they will be frozen, but see zombies that are far away and they're not frozen, if you still have that ice effect on them and you run straight up to them, they will be frozen. So honestly, that's why I think Winter's Whale is definitely one of the most underrated perks in zombies. But uh, next we have PhD Slider. Now PhD Slider, I'm going to put it okay. It's sad to say because like, PhD Slider was like something that the community was asking for, seeing as like PhD got taken out after BO2 Origins and stuff, you know. And it was really sad to see it go and get replaced by Widow's Wine. And don't get me wrong, Widow's Wine is a good perk. But, I don't know man, it's just definitely not as good as PhD Flopper. And PhD Slider, honestly, it's only good for specific maps in my opinion. I wouldn't use it on Voyage, but I see loads of people use it on Voyage. It's like good to get out of like hardcore situations. Like if you have the ray gun or the Helion Salvo, you can use that with PhD to oblivion and it will save your ass. And especially on realistic as well, like you need to rot PhD all the time for realistic BO4 zombie Easter eggs. Uh, next we have Secret Sauce. I'm gonna put Secret Sauce at okay. Because Secret Sauce most of the time, I've been like rocking Secret Sauce more and more and more as I'm playing BO4. It's not that bad. Like, I definitely, like, I sometimes want to just say it's better than the actual Wonder Fizz. But uh, Secret Sauce is not that bad at all. It's just Wonder Fizz on like every single perk machine. So, it's really nothing I can say about it. Like, for all you know, you could get lucky and get Dying Wish for 1,500 points. So, yeah. Next we have a uh, zombie shell, and uh, I'm gonna put zombie shell at me, and I'm gonna put a head over um, Deadshot Darkery. Now the biggest thing of Bo4 was added in new perks, and zombie shell was introduced in um, what's it called uh, Ancient Evil, and uh, apparently it was used for like uh, people thought it was like the vault trade, and um, to me it just didn't personally feel like that. Um, what it does when you have Zom Shell, and again, I didn't use Zom Shell that much, so cut me some slack if I'm wrong here. But um, normally, when I did use Zom Shell, um, when you shoot some zombies and you have Zom Shell activated, it create a glowing light and then it blasts some zombies away, and then it would slow other zombies around the glowing light slow down, and then I think they'd die in like five seconds. Definitely not the best weapon perk, but it's a cool idea, it's a cool idea. But uh, unless you have time slip, and time slip is definitely going over. It'll go over Bandolier. Time slip, just just imagine, boys, when you pop three fire seals in Black Ops 3, right? It's like a 1 minute and 30 second fire seal, right? Just imagine how many box sets you can get in 1 minute and 30 seconds with time slip. Especially as the modifier. Time slip is really, really helpful with boosting up Winter's Whale quicker. Uh, when you recharge and traps quicker, boosting up dying wish quicker, boosting up loads of other stuff quick. So honestly, that time slip is a really, really amazing perk. Next, we got death perception. Uh, I'm gonna put death perception at me, and I'll put it over zombie shell. It's definitely not one of the best perks in Call of Duty Zombies, but it's like. There's going to be, like, depending on, if you're doing a challenge for friends, say, like, maybe around 10 speedrun or something, just, just, just for an example, like, some people could be using it, and, uh, it would be helpful, because you could see where the zombies are spawning and stuff, you know, so, honestly, death perception, big ups, big ups, but, um, next we have electric burst, now, this is basically just electric cherry, so I really don't need to explain to it, but, Seeing as we are talking beautiful perks, I'll just put that good. Um, next we have Stone Cold Stronghold. Now Stone Cold Stronghold is interesting because it, it's really good for camping. So honestly, Stone Cold Stronghold, I'll put it at the top for okay. Definitely not the best perks, but definitely not one of the worst. I thought this, when the game first released for Black Ops 4, I thought this was Juggernaut. But I was wrong, chat. I was wrong. Uh, next we have Eternal Razor, and this came like one month after Dead of the Night. And Eternal Razor, I'm gonna put, um, I'll put it at okay and put it over Secret Sauce. Cause Eternal Razor, if you want to get more points, and the way to get more points is mailing. Like you can get more points in many other ways. Don't get me wrong, but in my opinion and what I see, you really get loads of points when mailing. And if you want to, and if you're on a high round and you have Eternal Razor. 
you can get loads of points, you can keep getting 130 points and stuff. And with the modifier as well, it's definitely really, really helpful because if you're like on, say, um, a certain HP on Black Ops 4, if you melee it, it will boost up your health a lot. And then just think about with the Quick Revive version of BO4. Definitely really, really good. And I don't think Blaze Phase is in here. So, um, if I had to say uh, Blaze Phase and Blood Wolf Bite, uh, Blood Wolf Bite. I'm personally going to put it at good ahead of Electric Burst if Blood Wolf Bite was in this tier list, right? So just to let everyone know, cause because just because Blood Wolf Bite in Blaze Phase isn't in this tier list, uh, I'd put Blood Wolf Bite over Electric Burst. Now the reason why is because it's definitely not good for Easter Eggs at all, but for high round speed runs and just high rounds in general, it is really, really good. So honestly, definitely a cool perk. But if you had to keep one zombie or something, and it would, Luna would just ruin it. Luna would just ruin it. But apart from that, definitely a cool perk for high rounds and stuff. Um, and then Blaze Phase, I'd probably put it uh, a whole for, over at uh, OK, uh, ahead of Secret Sauce. It's definitely a cool idea, Blaze Phase, but just definitely not the best. And then, uh, where's Slappy Taffy? Um, where's Slappy Taffy? Slappy Taffy's here, and we got the Slappy Taffy of World War 2. Uh, Slappy Taffy, it, it's basically just another Eternal Razor. Um, so I'm probably just going to put it ahead of, um, what's it called, um, Eternal Razor, because this is where it originated from. Slappy Taffy originated from IW. In Eternal Razor, the only difference is that it has a blue effect on your knife, and it can regen your health if you have this modifier. It, apart from that, it is basically just... Slappy Taffy. And we have other perks in here as well that I did forget. Uh, we have Exo Slam. Uh, Exo Slam, I, I'm just going to put it why. Reason why, I don't think Exo Slam is a bad idea, but Exo Slam was just that perk that just really wasn't needed. Like, it didn't do that majorly damaging Exo Zombies. Like, you need to use it in, like, um, Outbreak Easter Egg and stuff, but apart from that, that. That's really it, to be honest. And then we have Racing Stripe. No, not Racing Stripes. Uh, Trailblazers. Now, Trailblazers is kind of like Blaze Phase. Um, where if you slide, it'll leave a trail of fire. Now, everybody thought this was the Banana Colada. But uh, I'm going to put this ahead over PhD Slider. I don't know. No, actually, I'll put it over Stone Cold Stronghold. I don't know why. Just Trailblazers. Definitely not the best perk. But just out of the perks are, like, originated here. Definitely would get Trailblazers all the way. And then after that, I think that actually might be it from all the perks and Trailblazers Zombies and the perks we didn't miss out from any other games as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please subscribe, leave a like, click the notification bell, also to the channel. Let me know what you guys think is the best perk in Call of Duty Zombies and what you think is probably the weakest perk in Call of Duty Zombies. Preferably, I don't like to say worse because I like every single perk in Call of Duty Zombies for what they are. They all have their cool ideas and stuff. So honestly, big ups for Treyarch and Infinity War and uh, Sledgehammer for making like new perks and stuff and that. Sledgehammer, you came up with the idea with Exo Slam. But apart from that, that was it. But uh, anyways guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video live stream boys. And goodbye!